Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to another Merly on Time. Uh, really excited to be showing you uh, my favorite watch so far in my collection, most expensive watch in my collection, a watch that I've been looking to get for quite a long time now, and a watch that I was able to get at Christmas time. My wife got me a bunch of money on Amazon gift cards and I was able to purchase this watch. And it is my favorite watch. I think it's the nicest looking watch that I have seen. I'm sure there are other nicer looking watches out there, but I just love the look of this watch. As soon as I saw it, I just had to get my hands on it. It cost me just over $350. It is a Seiko. And I don't know if you've seen the ads for Filippo already, where you know you have a bunch of people talking about how often they get complimented for the watches that they're wearing. They get stopped on the street and everywhere they go, they get complimented on the watches that they're wearing. And this is the only watch that I have right now that actually has received a compliment from someone else saying, I really loved that watch that you were wearing and uh, it wasn't on the street or anything. In fact, it was on a video. I was doing my Sunday service, which I've been doing online over the past uh, several weeks with the pandemic. And someone commented on the video or on Facebook later on, I love that watch that you were wearing on, uh, on the video that you did for our Sunday service. So literally the only piece that I have been um, complimented on, which is, which is awesome. It is a great looking watch. And I'm going to show you another watch today as well. Both of them are Seikos. One's a Seiko, one is a Faco. One is an amazing watch and one has amazing potential. I got the watch from Wish and I've all, all kinds of things on Wish that um, I've heard and I, I knew what I was getting into when I bought it. But for 80 bucks, I just wanted to get the look of this particular Seiko brand watch. And... Uh, it the look didn't quite disappoint me but there are some things about the watch that were just like wow and uh, of course because it's from wish but anyways i want to talk about that but it has some real potential and i'll be sharing that uh as well it's going to be the very first watch that i mod and i'm looking forward to kind of doing that and i'll tell you a little about that in just a second but uh let's let's flip the camera around i want to unbox uh these two watches for you and just show you uh, the watch that uh, is my favorite watch right now. I'm sure you'll love it too. Let's have a look at it. Okay guys, so here it is, uh, the Seiko that I got for uh, Christmas. Uh, the model is SRPD59, I believe. Let's just see here. Yeah, Seiko. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, Seiko Sports SRPD 59, and uh, I've got uh, the orange dial, so we'll just pop this out. But uh, before we get to that, I'll just do a quick wrist check. I am wearing my Pagani Design 1644 model, uh, homage of the Rolex Daytona. What a beautiful watch! I uh, love this thing. Used the chronograph on it to time my Sunday message to my church this morning, actually. So, uh, yeah, just a great looking watch. But this here, this is uh, the winner. This is the best looking watch that I own. Um, so I got this uh, from Amazon. I believe when I purchased it at Christmas time, it was uh, just about uh, all taxes in and shipping $380. Um, my my um, package did not come with uh, the Seiko book but uh, I did get the uh, warranty card and uh, so here it is the Seiko 5 uh, sports now I was wondering at one time uh, what it meant for it to be a Seiko 5 and and all Seiko 5 watches uh, the 5 is referencing you know what's what the attributes of the watch are the what's in the watch and so in every Seiko 5 model that you uh, would get you'll get an automatic winding movement, a day and date display, uh, water resistance. Uh, this one has a water resistance of 100 meters, a recessed crown at the four o'clock and a durable case. So let me just uh, pop this open and look at that. Um, when I saw this, I just absolutely had to uh, have it. The orange dial uh, SRPD59, I got the uh, orange uh, dial model and uh, just take it off the little pillow here and 
and just bring it in for a nice uh, a nice close look, isn't it? This is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, specifications: uh, 42 and a half millimeters uh, case diameter, 13 and a half millimeter case thickness, uh, 22 millimeter uh, uh, bands on that. Uh, there's the recessed crown at the four o'clock. It is not a signed crown. It has just a pressed clasp. Some aren't a huge fan of the, the pressed clasp, uh, but I don't mind it at all. And a folding lock on there. And of course you can see that the uh, clasp is branded with uh, Seiko on the folding lock. The crown uh, to wind this watch uh, it is not a screw down crown. Uh, it pulls out uh, twice um, to wind the watch to get it started. Um, you just simply, while the crown is in all the way, turn it clockwise. Uh, otherwise you could shake the watch of course as well. It's, it is an automatic movement. If you pull the crown out to the first position, um, you can adjust the, uh, the day and the date. And so with it pulled out, counterclockwise will adjust the, the day of the month or the date of the month, I guess I should say, and clockwise will adjust the day. So there we go. And it is uh, Sunday today, and oh, let's, uh, January the 24th, let's get that. All the way over to there, there we go. Um, absolutely, um, just beautiful watch. Um, stainless steel, 316L stainless steel all the way around. Uh, the other star of the show, obviously, is going to be uh, the automatic movement that's in there. Uh, let me see if I can get a nice look at that. And there it is, um, beating away there. Um, oh, it's just simply gorgeous. I absolutely love this watch. And again, it's the only watch that I got uh, in my collection that has actually received a compliment. Uh, someone said they love the orange dial. I absolutely love the orange dial as well. The applied indices on the watch give amazing loom. Of course, uh, Seiko proprietary loom. I forgot to bring my flashlight to activate it, but uh, so I won't be able to show you the loom shot, but you get great loom. Uh, there's nothing loomed on the bezel itself, but it is a great 120 click unidirectional uh, bezel. Really nice action on it, no playback. And for those that have um, complained about the alignment issues on uh, Seiko bezels, this one lines up uh, perfectly. So yeah, just a great looking watch. And uh, let me put it on wrist and show you on my wrist and then I'll talk about the Faco that I got from Wish. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And uh, I gotta say guys that this hugs my wrist uh, and is the, it's definitely the most comfortable watch um, that I own as well. I uh, forgot to mention the, I don't think I mentioned this, the, the crown is not a screw down crown. So you don't get 200 meters of water resistance. It's not a true dive watch, but I will never be uh, going deeper than that anyways um, and so um, it's just beautiful it hugs the wrist uh, I can barely feel it on wrist when I'm wearing it just absolutely uh, stunning love this watch now uh, let's transition to talk about as I get the uh, package here this is the watch uh, that I got from Wish and I know that uh, I know that the watches you get from Wish are not real, but I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to get this basically for fun, but mostly for the look, um, because I love this particular uh, Seiko watch, uh, the Prospects Patty. So um, this, it came in this package. Uh, some of the uh, watches that I've seen people unbox on YouTube from Wish, um, at least this came in a nice solid, you know, package. And so you got the watch on the pillow there, and let me just pop this out. This there's there's quite a bit uh, going on uh, with this watch. It is an automatic movement. I paid eighty dollars for this watch. Um, I absolutely love the look of the Seiko uh, um, Patty Prospects uh, watch. Uh, I have no doubt that this does not, uh, as it says on the dial, uh, 
have 200 meters of water resistance. I have no doubt that it there it is not. But here's the reason why I I got this watch. Um, if you have a look at the website here on Amazon, this watch on Amazon is going for eight hundred and thirty dollars. So there is just no way I am going to be paying eight hundred and thirty dollars for um, this watch. Um, but let me just talk a little bit about it. Um, there's no display case on uh, on the back of this one. Um, it has a, a press clasp, interesting uh, fake Seiko um, logoing on the clasp. And um, it does have uh, the same kind of crown, although not very recessed like uh, the crown on, on this watch. Um, you can see it's uh, quite a bit uh, different. Um, it does wind the watch by turning it clockwise and it will, if you pull it twice, hack the movement. Uh, also this, um, this movement hacks when you pull the crown out uh, to the second position. So this does hack the movement for you to um, obviously stop the second hand from sweeping so you can, you know, sync it to your phone or, you know, whatever. Um, and just take, have a look at the date wheel here, guys. Um, it is so misaligned. Um, but you adjust the date of the month uh, again counterclockwise and clockwise will adjust the day of the month so let's get this thing set it is Sunday so um, <laughs> you can see the uh, the day just doesn't quite line up on the uh, on the day date there and uh, we'll go to the 24 and there's a couple of other things about this watch that uh, I really just uh, oh, it's not even. Uh, I got to pull it out again. That just aren't very good. Um, the crown on this, uh, not very good. Very. Uh, there's no real distinct one and two clicks. Uh, it's a little bit sloppy. The bezel on this is not ceramic. Uh, at least I don't think it is. The face of the watch. Um, I think is plastic. Those aren't real indices. I mean, this is a fake Seiko. The watch band, I have to say, this is um, horrible. <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is stainless steel. Um, if I just fold that over, you can see it's got uh, like rolled, rolled steel. Um, uh, the push pins in order for me to adjust this. Um, almost didn't go back in the band and I don't know if you can see this uh, on camera or not but the dial on the watch is actually a bit cockeyed um, it the whole dial has to rotate a little bit clockwise in order for it to be square um, the bezel itself obviously it's not here's how you can tell if uh, a Seiko uh, is a is a Faco um, if you ordered it from Wish, <laughs> it's a Faco. Um, but this bezel is not 120 click, it's a 90 click, and uh, obviously quite a bit of play in the bezel there. Um, so it's, I mean, I only got this watch, guys, for the look, but here's something that I'm, uh, I just want to uh, tell you about uh, with respect to this watch. Um, I was contacted by Wish in kind of like a follow-up thing, and I told them some of the issues that um, the watch had, um, the rolled links in the band, the day date not really lining up too well. I mean, um, it's almost uh, not even in the window. Uh, the fact that the, the dial wasn't even lined up, and I took a picture of it, and I actually got a refund from Wish for this watch. So this watch I want to mod. I'm going to buy a Seiko NH35 uh, or 36 movement for the back and I'm going to buy a new uh, a new dial for it. I'm going to keep the uh, the bezel as is. I like the Pepsi look, but I'm going to mod this watch and in a future video I'll show you what I did with it. I'll uh, replace the the bracelet on it as well. It does have a, I I'm going to guess a, a Hangzhou Chinese automatic movement in it. You can hear if you really shake it well I won't be able to probably capture this on on uh, on my microphone but if you shake it you you can hear the rotor spinning quite a bit and and it is quite a bit noisy so it's obviously not a Seiko movement inside this not a Japanese automatic either but I'm looking forward to modding this 
Anyway, I just bought it for the look. Let me just pop it on my wrist and show you what it looks like because I think um, I think it's a great looking watch, uh, even though there's so much wrong with it. But I am going to mod it so that it'll be better. So I'll show you this one on wrist as well. Okay, guys. So here it is on wrist. Um, you know, from a distance, <laughs> uh, it's it's actually a, a decent looking piece from a distance, and ultimately that's as I mentioned before, really all I care about um, is it is it a nice looking piece. Obviously, you can see that if I hope you can see that how cockeyed the uh, the dial is. Um, but if the dial rotates clockwise, it's going to hide the day date window um, even more. So I am going to be modding this. I'm going to get a new movement and a new uh, dial for it, a new bracelet for it, and in a future video I'll show you that. I'm going to keep the uh, the Pepsi bezel. Uh, it's not a great bezel anyways, but uh, I'm going to keep that. And, uh, you know, for what ended up being a free watch, because I wish refunded me when I mentioned these issues, um, hey, it's, 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 it's a piece that I'm not going to be obviously concerned about wearing and uh, marking up, scratching up, or whatever. And so, at any rate, there is the Faco. So that's my favorite watch, the Seiko SRP D5 Sports Model Orange Dial Version. Um, absolute, stunningly, I just love this. Stunningly beautiful watch, I love it. And of course you saw my Faco, which I'm gonna mod and uh, hopefully make it uh, a lot better. If you like this video, please take a moment to uh, subscribe, click the like button, and I appreciate your support of the channel. Until next time, make sure that when you are going out, you have a great looking piece on your wrist and that you get there on time. God bless you. We'll see you again next time.